Hi guys, Jay Smith here. Welcome to Ask Golf Night channel. Today we're doing a comparison between the JPX 923 Hot Metal High Launch against the Stealth HD, the TaylorMade Stealth HD. Now these are both very much so aimed at the golfer which swings a little bit slower and needs the assistance in getting the golf ball up in the air. Now when it comes to the design of the HL, the High Launch in the JPX, this is the biggest, this is the largest 923, the hot metal series. It's got the largest sole, largest top line, blade lengths are quite big as well, but that pals into absolute insignificance when it comes to the TaylorMade Stealth HD. The TaylorMade Stealth HD is basically a hybrid. Um, it's a very interesting look. Now, with the, if you put these both down by uh, the ball, I can't see anything out the back when it comes to a um, HL, the 923 HL. I can definitely see something out the back when it comes to the uh, Stealth HD. So you could argue one might have an advantage over the other when it comes to center of gravity placements or the ability to try and get something up in the air. Now, we don't know because we're going to test it. It's going to be a bit of fun doing that. So um, let's go get the simulator on. Let's go. Um, see which one should we do first let's go do uh, HL first and then see the differences between these two and if one wins over the other or not right okay so Stealth HD is on the deck now I've got the JPX 923 hot metal high launch in my hands now if you like this kind of content guys make sure you spend just literally a couple of seconds to go down there press the subscribe button it's great for the channel if you do that brilliant um, and so JPX 923 hot metal high launch so this is the fattest one. It's the biggest one of the 923 hot metals. It's got the fattest sole. It's got the biggest top line. It's definitely the biggest blade length. It's got a certain amount of offset, we'll call it, but then again, that's what this golf club is designed for. This has got 31 degrees of loft. So this is distinctly weaker than the others, but then we've got loft and we've got the biggest amount of help. Now, um, if you wanna know, individual technology stuff. I'm not going to go massive into the tech, what's inside of this thing. No different to the Stealth HD. I've got full video reviews of this on my channel. You can go up there and have a look at this one. No different. When I go over to the HD, you can go up there when it's done that time and have a look at that if you want. But let's go give this a hit. Now I'm going to try, if I can do, to try and keep speed down because it's not the easiest thing in the world to try and keep speed down. Uh, sequencing goes wrong and yeah, so, but we'll see if we can, um, yeah, not hit it at my normal 92, 93 miles an hour. <laughs> 84 miles an hour, that's a win. So I've got the pin set 160 yards. Strike wasn't too bad, P path and face were pretty good. 160 yards, 32 yards in the end, 47 degrees descent angle. Now, obviously these golf clubs are meant for people to try and give them as best advantage as possible at getting the golf ball up in the air. And so when I do this test, I'm gonna try and keep my speed down when I compare them both, because I'm just gonna compare them both when it comes to here for looks, feel and stuff like that. But when it comes to the back end of the video in the other second half, I'm gonna be testing them for raw performance if one goes further than the other one. And if there's a forgiveness difference between them as well. But um, yeah, feel-wise, it's actually, it's the JPX 923 Hot Metal series. So you've, like, like the, the Pro, the Hot Metal, the Hot Metal High Launch, they've um, put a lot of effort into trying and making these much more Mizuno-like, as in quieter, not so crispy and explosive. So I'm gonna feel like I'm soaring off my follow-through to try and curtail a little bit of speed. But, um, Noise is distinctly quieter. If you compare this to something like a ping, this is very much so quieter than the ping. Um, decent delivery dynamics there, decent ish strike, 33 yards in the air, 48 degrees ascent angle. That's really doing well, but again, it will be. It's the high launch, so it's gonna go the highest of the lot. But the, uh, considering the softness that you'll find on this thing, can put, say the softness, it's just sound. And then people will then perceive the sound they need to feel. Yeah, if you were to plug your ears and stuff like that and you couldn't hear anything, it'd be very difficult to actually feel much. Unless you hit it a really bad strike and it fuzzes your fingers, that's a completely different feeling. That's left a bit, that's me. You'd still take it and the speed's creeping up. It's 85.6 miles an hour. 84167, it's going, definitely. Um, path was really good. As you can see there, face angle was just a touch shut. 
which then makes the ball go left. Uh, what we got, 34 yards in the end, 48 degrees ascent angle at 166. It's doing well for a 31 degree uh, head. What's that launch angle? 20.3, we're hitting over 20 degrees. That has a very low CG head. Oh, that's me, that's left. That's a miscue for me trying to control speed. Didn't control speed. Didn't control face. Just didn't control much on that one at all. My fault, not the golf club. We are human and we are allowed to make mistakes. Um, so you can't really pay much attention to that one. It went left, because I aimed the face three left. <laughs> but it sounds pretty good, considering I'm not quite doing my job properly. Again, another one. Low on the face, low healy. That'll do well to get to the green. Yeah, you can see strike there, eight mil low, nine mil heel. That's distinctly feel, you can feel that. I can even feel a little bit of movement in the faces when I hit it. And then the corresponding weakness of flight. We've dropped distance straight away. Low heel on the golf club, you should steer clear of low heel as best as you possibly can. Right, last one, let's see if we can do a decent job on the last one and then go over to the self HD. That's a better job. What was it, 86 miles an hour? I wanna try and keep it down if I can. Um, but good delivery dynamics, 1.2 from the inside, 0.3 closed face, decent strike. Yeah, and then what's that doing? Uh, 35 yards in the air and 49 degrees ascent angle. So this is going in now, 86 miles an hour, 85 point something what it was on there. Um, I am going a little bit fast. I'd like, I wanna try and get to about 84, 85. If it's 86, then fair enough. Um, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to purposely dial your speed down to a certain number and keep sequencing exactly how you'd like it. But um, she's doing well, she's going up. That's the whole idea of this thing. High launch, what was that launch in 21.1 degrees? Yes, so this is doing its job. Right, let's go flick over to the Self HD. Let's go see if there's any difference in the tailor made. Let's change data sets, we go a different colored line before we do lots and lots of hits comparing the overall performance and overall forgiveness between these two. Data set now change, we have it on the Stealth HD. Um, we have got the pin still set at 160 yards, trying to keep everything exactly the same. Remember, there is a one degree loft difference between these. The Stealth HD is one degree stronger. Now, that, if that means it goes one degree further when it comes to distance, we'll see. But we're looking at for a difference in looks and feel. Well, look straight away, there's a big difference. Um, that, the JPX 923 hot metal high launch looks like an iron, a beefy iron, but it looks like an iron. This thing looks distinctly like a hybrid. It has got a chunky amount of offset. It's got a very thick top line and a sole that big, I can see it out the back. It is a hybrid. Um, already this has given me confidence though that this is gonna go to the moon. I've just got to try as best I can do to um, do a decent job of swinging and making contact with it at a slightly slower speed. Not always the easiest thing. So let's go give this a hit because this is a interesting test between the two. 30 degree against 31 and a hybrid against an iron. There's a the left, gone down. 86.6 too fast. That's my fault. Slow down, Jay. 85 miles an hour max, really. So strike's pretty good. Delivery's very, very good. Um, launch at 19.4, spinning at 5.5, going 33 yards in the air, 47.6, 48 degrees ascent angle. Doing really well. Carry 168. Now that's pretty good, but I am swinging a little bit fast. That's my own fault. I need to try and dial it down a little bit. But feeling actually. Compared to the, the hot metal high launch, this is marginally more explosive, but it's not a huge difference. I was expecting a little bit more difference when it comes to a hybrid head. That's left again. That's my fault. Go oh, look at that carrier now. With the face closed down a fraction, loft comes off. It goes left. And it goes long left, um, 86.3 miles an hour clubhead speed, so a fraction too fast again. Slightly from the inside, slightly closed, slightly too little loft, 24.6 degrees, uh, which means it's carried now 169. Going 32 yards in the air, 46 degrees descent angle, so it's still okay. And it's not bad considering 
Yeah, that, that's my fault, not the golf clubs. Uh, lie angle is 1.2 up, so I may have to adjust this to try and get the lie angle a bit better, because that will help it going left as well. So let's see if we can counter that one a touch. Overcooked it. <laughs> as always, you always overcook something. It's doing well though, slightly low on the face. If I was being picky, that's a fraction low on the face. A couple of mil, not too much, six mil low, yeah, pretty good though. Um, as you can see there, path and slightly face open. It's gone 32 yards in the air, 47 degrees to center, 161 yards. It's just gone right because that's which way I swung. But it's good, and I wouldn't say there's much, if any, difference between these, really, when it comes to sound. This is marginally a little bit more explosive, but I wouldn't say it's, like poles apart difference, this feels like a firecracker going off and then the Mizuno feels like uber soft. Um, they're fairly close to be fair. There's a huge difference in looks. There's a massive difference in looks. Also, by the way, anyone cares, I have it in the same shaft as well. Uh, I've got it in the uh, KBS Tor stiff, no different to the HL, I've got that. And I hit that in the KBS Tor stiff as well. So let's go hit this one again. Slow the speed down, slow the speed down, Jay. 87 miles an hour, that's why it's carrying. That's my fault. <laughs> slow down. Um, decent delivery dynamics, pretty good. Launching 19 degrees, so we're, st we're not quite launching the same as the HL. We're seeming to get a little bit more launch, initial launch out of the HL. This is seem to fractionally spin more, just from what, what I'm looking at. I could be absolutely completely wrong because I can't see the data in tabular form um, that um, we'll do later on. <sighs> a little bit of mat on the ball. Um, but it's going well, 33.8 yards in the air, 34 yards in the air, 48 degrees of center angle is really very, very good. Carrying at 168, which is very, very good, but I am swinging a little bit too fast. <laughs> so that's the reason why it's doing that. Right, let's go give it one more go, because it's, it's actually quite fun hitting a hybrid iron. <laughs> oh, it wasn't when you do that. That's a similar one that I did with the HL. I didn't do my job properly whatsoever. And yeah, there you go. I really should do that again. I hit one more, I hit, I'm gonna hit one more with this and I undo the, uh, the HL, I think. But then I think it's only fair, because I absolutely made a rubbish job of doing one with the HL. Why not just do a one, yeah, five mil high, over close face, uh, tug in left. 166, it's gone, 31 yards in the air, which is not too bad, 45 degrees of center angle, which still, if it's gonna hit a green, I tugged it left so it won't, but it will still stop. Right, last one. Let's see if I can do a half decent effort on this one at slow speed. <laughs> Me steering it feeling, I'm trying, 85 miles an hour on the dot, there we go. Still going a bit too quick, but it's better than 87. <laughs> so delivery dynamics on that one, pretty good. You'll see up on the screen. Uh, 0 0.9, 0 0.8, very small. Strike was really good. Uh, what's the launch? 19.9. So I've done a very good job there. Even loft was 27 degrees. And even that didn't launch as initially high as the HL. Uh, this will be an interesting one to test. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit these a load of times, compare them for overall distance, absolutely, but I'm also gonna compare when it comes to miss hits as well. I'm gonna try and do this one at a little bit slower speed. I know we've been doing 85 miles an hour, that's pretty good. If I can do it at 85 miles an hour, 84, 83, then great. But I will try and keep the averages as close as I possibly can. So at the end of it, if we do have any form of winner, it'll be done on apples for apples and not apples for oranges. That's why I do head data testing. That's why I have all the data analytics so we can make sure if we do have a winner, it's open and honest and it's out there for all to see. Right, let's go hit a load of times. Whack, 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 heel toe, high, low, out the middle, all that, and see which one wins out of the two. So these two irons, they are designed for the slower swinger. So what I've done, uh, it took some time, but I've managed to swing these down at the 76 miles an hour kind of speed. Now it took a while to get kind of dialed in, it takes a while, um, get your sequencing right, etc. But I've managed to collect quite a bit of data here at your slower swing speed, because again, these are game improvement irons. They're designed also for maximum help in the, getting the golf ball up in the air 
and carrying as best as possible, get some peak height, descent angle, that kind of idea. So let's go have a look at the raw performance between the two and also got the forgiveness side as well. So if we look at the JPX 923 hot melt high launch first, on average, ball speed is 105 miles an hour, launching at 20.4 degrees. So it's carrying uh, on exactly what we saw when it comes to the original test, launching over 20 degrees. Um, spins at 4.8, 4,800. We are peaking out at 27, descending at 44 degrees. Very good for a carry of 148. Now, for a carry at 148, obviously we are talking speeds are coming off. Um, that is descending still exceptionally good at 44 degrees, but that's the whole idea of the HL. If you go to a standard hot metal or a Ping G430 or anything else like that of the standard game improvement market, what you'll find is they might go a fraction longer, or I don't think they would, but what they would do actually is peak height nowhere near as high, descent angle would be shallower, so you come into the green and you'd literally just go straight out the back again because there's no descent angle, there's no control. So the HD next, uh, ball speed 104.7 rather than 105, so we are talking 0.3 of a mile an hour in it. Nothing. Launch in 19.9. So it's a half a degree difference really between that and the HL. Um, we've got spinning at 4.6 rather than at 4.8. So there is a couple of hundred difference uh, of spin between both of them. Um, but again, it is still very, very close to blurring because if you see standard deviation of 264 and 391, when it comes to the high, uh, high launch and the high draw we are talking at very close to blending um it's going 26 yards in the air and descending at 43.2 but it's carrying one yard further at 149 now it's it's going one yard further but it's doing that going not quite so high and not quite as steep as that angle it's margins it's small amounts and you'll see when it comes to the compare screen it's visible you can see it but it's it's not a huge amount if we go by the club data let's go the high launch first 76.4 miles an hour efficiency 1.37 attack angle 2.4 degrees down 1.9 from the inside 1.3 close loft 27 degrees and strike is three mil toe one mil low again i've got standard deviation numbers on there for everyone to see against the stealth hd of 76 miles an hour rather than 76.4 so i swung 0.4 of a mile an hour difference there's the difference when it comes to the ball speed. It's me. Then that's tiny, small amounts of clubhead speed difference. I mean, I'm not a robot, but within 0.4 of a uh, mile an hour. Efficiency is 1.38, so 0 0.01 better than the, um, the HL. But then again, it is a hybrid head. Um, attack angle 2.3 down rather than 2.4, so exactly the same. Club path, uh, one from the inside and face bang on square. Loft is 25.8 degrees against 27, so there's one degree of loft basically between these two and within 0.2 of a degree there's your one degree of loft and um strike is two mil toe two mil low um against three mil toe one mil high and you could argue this being honest the stand deviation the variance on the hl the jpx 923 hot metal high launch high launch hl um was fractionally worse actually than the stealth hd so i hit the stealth hd um, on average, slightly better. But let's go by looking at the uh, compare screen, you can see the difference there. There's a tiny difference in launch, tiny difference in spin, basically the same ball speed within reason, but it does mean that within one yard of difference when it comes to carry, the HL surprisingly goes up slightly higher. Now that will be because of the loft that it's got over the HD because the um, HD 30 and the HL uh, high launch is 31. And when you're dumb, dumbing speed down this much, when you've got speeds at this, as in for me at this point, this low, um, loft will win. And so that's the reason why these HLs and high draws and all these ideas were designed and made for that purpose because you can put all the technology in the head, but loft still wins. And you can whack all the technology head into a 28 and a half degree or so hot metal head, or a cranked Rogue X head that you had from years ago. Um, unfortunately, if you've got a slow swing speed, you loft will win. And so that's what we see winning here. The HL goes higher and descends steeper for basically the same distance on the basis of that, it's got one degree more loft.
Um, right, and you go by the um, compare of the strikes within reason, very, very similar. And there's your one degree of loft difference because that's the one degree of static loft difference between it. Apart from that, everything within reason exactly the same. And you've got a 0 0.01 uh, efficiency better from the Stealth HD. Why? Because there's your 1.2 degrees of dynamic loft, less loft, better efficiency. That's physics, but it has, doesn't actually show when it comes to anything, when it comes to ball dynamics, you can see there they're basically exactly the same. And if not, actually the HL goes slightly higher, descends slightly steeper. Let's go see how it uh, goes, how it does when it comes to miss hits. And I've captured some heel, low and toe shots to see what happens when you don't quite hit the middle as we don't. So HL first, I've got 16 mil heel, one mil high. So 17 mil uh, gross. So 16 mil is very, very healy. I mean, you're not going to go too far more for you get them hosel rockets from there. Um, 1.1 from the inside, 0 0.2 open, so face was basically zero. Um, speed 74.8 miles an hour, so nice and slow, and efficiency is 1.35, which is very good from that strike. You go over to the HD, efficiency is 1.37, which is 0 0.02 better, but face is slightly closed rather than face is slightly open, so when you close a face, you, generally speaking, will have a uh, better uh, efficiency because of less deflection. And then when it comes to the loft, we had 26.3, 26.1. So that's quite close when it comes to that. So there's no variance in that, but there is a slight better strike with the uh, HD at 13 mil heel, one mil high rather than um, 16 mil heel. I mean, it's three mil. Um, but I think even on on par, I would say they're very, very close, but actually I think I would give it marginally to the HD, the Stealth HD, TaylorMade Stealth HD marginally has it in heel strikes. When it comes to low, um, the HL first, is 78.7 miles an hour, so a little bit fast. 2.1 from the inside, 2.2 open, so that's an open face, so that's gonna take efficiency down. 26.4 degrees of loft and 10 mil low. If we then go to the HD, um, the efficiency is now 1.32 rather than 1.29. Path is still from the inside, but face is now square, which means we've got a distinct loft difference between 26 and a half degrees to 25. So there's deflection in itself. But then the HD has got a marginally worse strike. Um, again, it is very, very, very close. Um, it's either equal or again, I would possibly, being honest, marginally give it to the HD, but it is margins. The heel margins and low margins, it's margins, it's tiny. Um, let's go to a toe miss. The HL, 1.36 efficiency from a 3.4 from the inside, 1.2 close. So a little baby draw, tiny little draw. Um, one mil high, 10 mil toe. 26 degrees aloft. Um, if we then go to, uh, this is where I think the HL wins over the HD. Um, if you then go to a uh, HD, you've got a 1.36 efficiency again. 1.4 open, so that is slight, um, uh, normally as soon as you have a face open or a face closed, because face closed, generally speaking, is a little bit more um, hit it like that rather than a glance in blow. Um, but the HD was delivered 22.6 degrees aloft rather than 26. So there's three and a half degrees aloft difference. And it's only just matched the efficiency number. So again, when it comes to the heel and toe, HD has it marginally either equal or margins towards the HD. When it comes to toe misses, well, actually the HL, whether it's because of the, the, the difference between the hybrid design and the iron design, the, uh, the HL, the JPX923 hot metal high launch, massive name, um, has it on toe strikes. There, there is no margins, it has it on toe strikes. It will be more forgiving. Um, now it all depends on how you hit it, what your miss pattern is. If you're a miss pattern uh, of the toe, I would turn around and say, within reason, if you're looking for something that's gonna give you max height, max um, descent out of control, max distance, obviously for the uh, swing speed that you've got, and you're a toe striker as a miss, middle to toe, I would say go for the JPX 923 hot metal high launch all day long. When it comes to everywhere else, if you're looking for um, ultimate peak height, ultimate descent angle for your speed, and you hit it either low or heel as your miss, 
you've got a bit of a uh, a mix to do because on forgiveness from strike point of view the uh, tailor made stealth hd is marginally better off of low strikes and hill strikes but it doesn't quite hit it so high and it doesn't quite descend as steep it's margins again and so it all depends on which one of them that you really want more of the tiny amounts of forgiveness uh, the benefits you're going to get from a hd or the flight differences that you're going to get from a HL. When it comes to pure looks and feel, okay, looks massively different. It all depends if you don't mind looking at a hybrid when you're getting down to hit a golf shot. If you don't mind and you like the idea of a hybrid head, then the HD is for you. If you still want some form of classic looks, effectively an iron, then the HL is going to be your thing. When it comes to feel, they're very, very close actually. The JPX 923 Hot Metal High Launch possibly has it Marginally, when it comes to the feeling, it's not a, it's not a game improvement iron feeling. It is much more of a, I wouldn't say forged, but it's definitely not the firecrackery experience that you can get on some irons. And to be fair, the HD, that also, from a hybrid head, is still feels pretty good. And then performance, it's a one of those teeter-totter, depending on what you require, and hopefully from the information you've seen there, depending on where you hit it, depending on where your no miss pattern is, you can make your own mind up what would best suit you. So, hope you liked the video. If you did, go on, give it a thumbs up. YouTube likes it, so do I. Down there is a little subscribe button. If you could press that, that's brilliant for the channel. It's great if you could do that. And while you're there, there's a bell icon. That's a notification bell. If you click that one, that will notify you next time I upload another video. So, hope you're well, and we'll see you again soon.